Good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Are you guys ready to come at me today and ride over to Massachusetts? Yeah, look at this high river that we got up here. How many of you guys remember me being down here with my son last year? We actually went a little further down the road there just walking and we went to the bank of that river and uh, yeah, we, would, uh, we were filming a little bit over there. So how many of you guys take the remember that? To the right on I-90 and then keep to the left in 0.2 miles. Leave me a comment down there below if you remember that. But yeah, and uh, the river was a lot lower then than what it is today. It's very high today. Yes, indeed. But yeah, we're just getting our day started. Bright and early. Maybe not as early as I probably could have, but hey. In 900 feet, still not to too the left bad. On I-90 East. Yeah, it's quarter to seven Manitoba time right now, so so it's fairly early to me. I mean, not super early, but yeah, we gotta pay our toll up here and then make In our way to feet, the interstate. To the left on I ninety East. There we go. We got the green light. We're good to go. I don't know. Somehow overnight I. I guess I slept a little crooked or something like that. No, my neck is stiff. Yeah, that ain't good, but oh well. Looks like we got a little fog rolling in too, eh? Oh, I didn't see that. Oh well, we'll get through it. Let's get on the interstate and uh, let's make it to our delivery. GPS says I should be there 20 to 12. That was the plan anyways. Get there around lunchtime. I probably would have hurried her up a little bit more if uh, they would have given me a reload yesterday already. But never did get a reload yesterday. So, so now well. Then I ain't going to be in a hurry to go there anyways. If they're not going to be giving me a load in a hurry then I ain't gonna be in a hurry to get down there either I got till three o'clock to deliver my load so no big deal then 12 o'clock is still three hours before I have to be there right yeah well I know it's been kind of slow over here so I'm suspecting they might do to me what they did to a friend of mine there he was in that same Continue area not too long for 33 ago. Miles. They made him go empty all the way to Toronto. So that's kind of what I'm suspecting they're going to do to me too. So Hey, I ain't going to complain if they're going to send me a long way on empty. I just get better fuel mileage, that's it. Yeah, it's almost to the point where it's almost drizzling right now. That's how much moisture we got in the air. But yeah, it is a good morning though. I can't complain. Let's get on down the road and uh, let's have ourselves a fantastic day. Well guys, let's take a look at this beautiful bridge up here. Well, they got it under construction today, but uh, hey, we are getting closer and closer to Massachusetts. That's a fact. I haven't shown this bridge in a very long time, if ever. I don't remember if I've ever shown this bridge before, but, but yeah. This is uh, just after you exit the uh, 87, I-87, onto uh, the Massachusetts Turnpike, I-90. So uh, I haven't been down here in a very long time, so you know what? figured you know what we're gonna show ya yeah that's the name of this game right show you what we can and whichever one we think is uh, the most interesting and nice sceneries and especially when we haven't been in areas like this in a long time then you know let's show you guys some goodies show you some areas that we haven't been in in a long time so so we 
always interesting to go into new areas for everyone, I think, including myself, you know. Butch and the place I'm delivering. I was going to a homosexual one day. Butch and the place that I am delivering, I haven't been in there in a very long time. I think the last time I was in Boston was like two years ago, over two years ago probably. I don't even think I had a YouTube channel at that time. I remember going to uh, deliver to a university up there. And I still do have some pictures of that on Facebook. And uh, yeah, where I was parked there at the university and all of that overnight. Yeah, sir, Bob. That's right. Looks like the fog is uh, disappearing a little bit though. The sun peaked through a few times already, so. Should be clearing up here pretty soon, I think. But yeah, it is fairly hilly up here further east, so might get to see some hills. Not like in British Columbia, but hey, get to see some hilly stuff over here, that's for sure. Well guys, apparently there is an accident up here. I don't know what happened, but uh, let's take a look. Somebody has had an accident up here, look at that. <laughs> wow, they're even getting the, uh, wow, that looks like the corner, so they must have a dead body up here, yeah, wow, look at that, there's a person dead, yeah, that's the corner getting, uh, yeah, he rear-ended that truck, it looks like, wow, that is not good, all right, well, somebody lost their life again today, not sure what happened, but uh, hey, probably the truck slowed down a little bit. That's what it looks like to me. And that driver was probably not paying attention and rear-ended that truck. And then he went in the ditch and hit the tree. Yeah, that's not good. about to enter into Massachusetts. That's right. We're not too far from Massachusetts. Yes, indeed. But anyways, we'll get on down the road and I hope his family or her family, whatever it is, is going to be alright. That's sad to see, but it does happen. Sure does. I mean, what is it this week? I've seen two accidents this week where somebody's passed away. I don't know what's going on this week. I've seen one driver looking for trouble the other day. I don't know if I'll include that footage or not, but I do have footage of that. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's weird this week, but... I guess that happens every once in a while. Here we are, starting to see some bigger hills, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, that's what I was telling you guys earlier. We're gonna start seeing a little bit more hills up here. We're actually going downhill from one of the hills right now. And they got a runaway ramp even up here, so that tells you they do, they do have some uh, fairly steep hills up here. Yeah, right here to the right, they got a runaway ramp. Yeah, look at that. Go into that gravel up there, and that's going to stop you from going anywhere. But I bet you that's going to be super rough. <laughs> I wouldn't want to try that. But yeah, we're still cruising right along here. We got 115 more miles to go to our delivery. So about two more hours to go, I would say. Look at that. Even a big little uh, little uh, river down there. Yeah. First I was going to say big river down there, but that looked kind of small to me. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, we're just cruising right along here and enjoying our day today, that's for sure. 
I am actually happier today than I have been for the last week. That is very, very true. I feel more like making videos again. For the last week I didn't really feel too much like making videos, so here we are. I think we're back. We're going to be working hard at improving it again. I also do know over the last couple of days I haven't really been much on the internet. I haven't really been replying very fast on comments. Biggest reason is because of internet. I'm over on my internet on the phone, so uh, I leave the internet off as much as possible for the last few days. That's one of the reasons why I haven't really been replying. But I think tomorrow is the reset, so uh, I think after tomorrow, I think, or even tomorrow, I think we can start uh, having our internet turned on again. But yeah, that's the way it goes. I'm always limited to internet, so... Well, especially here in the U.S., you know. I mean, in Canada, I do have that Wi-Fi system, but... When I'm in the U.S., I am limited to my phone internet. And I only have 15 gigs, so... That doesn't take much for me to rack up, so... So now I'm way over the internet already on my limit, so that's gonna cost me a lot of money. So that's why I just decided the last couple of days we're just gonna turn her off. And I mean, I do turn it off. I mean, I do turn it on. Usually in the morning a little bit and in the evening a little bit. But I've been doing replying in the evening, so. But yeah, anyways, that's the way it's been there for the last few days. So if you didn't get a comment back right away from me, that's why. I mean, obviously you're only going to see this video seven days from today, but that's okay. You will still hear about it. My internet bill always resets on the 4th. So after midnight tonight, it's reset. Then we'll have internet again. I mean, they don't cut me off completely. I can still use the internet. But uh, then the bill goes sky high. That's right. Alrighty, guys. Now we are on I-95. Yes, indeed. We are in the Boston area now. Well, trying to take this I-95 north to uh, 93. We got 14 miles to go. And look at this. We got traffic even at the uh, shit at 11:30. <laughs> that's crazy I don't get it why we gotta have traffic at 11.30 in the morning <laughs> but that's these big cities for you that's the way it goes up here always had bad traffic on I-95 that's a fact but we're only about 20 miles away from our delivery so that's the good thing although slowing down like this it could take me a while to get there <laughs> yeah that for sure could be taking me a good while to uh, get to my delivery if we continue this uh, this speed but hopefully we'll pick up a little bit here in a little bit so yeah Anyways, we'll uh, keep you guys up to date. Alrighty guys, we are here at our customer. Well, it was our customer anyways. Because we have already finished unloading. <laughs> yeah, the load is unloaded. So, now we just pull the side over here. That is obviously not our customer. Uh, there's a bunch of businesses here in the same, uh, same place here. So, but yeah, we're just sitting there on the side of the their parking lot here on the side of this uh, street waiting for orders from the uh, dispatch we still haven't gotten no reload offer yet they said they are working on something but have not yet found anything concrete yet or solid or whatever you want to call it they haven't gotten no confirmation for a reload yet so so yeah 
So we're just sitting there waiting and uh, well I went to the back there and put a video together so uh, that's rendering now. At least we're going to get that done so just figured I'd give you guys a little update on what we're going to be doing here or what we are doing. Oh look at that there's a couple of cyclists coming down here. Yeah wow okay looks like they are uh, getting ready for some kind of race or training or something like that but anyways nice and sunny over here really hot but uh, hey I really hope we can get out of here soon because the traffic is terrible around Boston as anybody that's been here knows so hopefully we don't have to wait here till like three four o'clock in the afternoon till it's really bad <laughs> yeah that would suck but anyways we are out of here Alrighty, guys we have gotten us a reload offer yes indeed we have we're gonna be going up to uh, Quebec and then we'll be picking up a load there tomorrow and then from there we're gonna bring that load to Mississauga Terminal Ontario that is yeah so we got us about 240 miles to go up to the border and then into Quebec so yeah I think we got us about 280 miles or something like 85 miles or something like that to our pickup be to be picked up tomorrow anytime between 8 and 3 o'clock so uh so I said yeah let's go down there and find us a parking spot somewhere at least we'll be very close to our uh, pickup at least as close as we can possibly get with uh with finding us a truck stop though quebec has not got very many truck stops either so We'll have to see exactly where we can find us a truck stop, but hey, that's the way it's going to be. We are now almost at the border to Quebec. Yeah, we are in Vermont right now on I-89 northbound. Yes, indeed. We only got about 44 miles to our pickup, so it's not too far from the border where we pick up, but uh, hey. We're gonna be at the border here. It says Canada, two miles. Look at that, Canada, two miles. So, we figured we would give you guys a little clip here before we hit the border. And then uh, I guess uh, we will see you guys on the other side. Yes, indeed. It's been a good day so far. Nothing to bother me so far. We've had a good run. And and just giving her here since we left that uh, delivery place and uh, haven't stopped once yet although I did forget to update my website when I left there but hey by the time you watch this video I'm gonna be somewhere else right Speed that's the plan the anyways head. but uh, yeah we'll update it here tonight once we get to the uh, customer up here in uh, Quebec I called them earlier and they said I can sleep there overnight no problem they open at 7 a.m. in the morning so I'll be there ready for them they said they got plenty of room over there they can come and park there and spend the night over there so that makes me happy because there ain't nothing around up here to where you can stay especially in Quebec there was a few places up here on 89 where I could stay at but not too many places up there towards uh, towards uh, my pickup there so uh, yeah I guess we're gonna have to cut the camera here because we're just shy of the border here so we'll talk with you guys on the other side alrighty guys we are done for today as we have been for a good while yeah we're over here at our customer waiting for tomorrow to get loaded up here that's right they open at 7 o'clock in the morning so I guess we better uh, go to bed so we can get up early and uh, go see them in the office, right? Get our uh, load on and uh, hopefully we can get, make our way towards Toronto tomorrow. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Stick around for tomorrow. We got more goodies to come. So don't go nowhere. This is Truck Rudy signing out. Get going, it's time to move on. Put the 
this behind me 